buying in Queenstown property series. In the last part, we covered the sell and purchase agreement and conditions and due diligence. Today, I'd like to talk more about the title of the property, which is um, the legal document that gives you ownership of the property. I have a copy right here. You, um, it provides with legal description of the property, names of the owner, and of course, the certificate of title number. Sometimes the property you'd like to buy does not yet have a certificate of title. This is because the home or apartment you want to buy has not yet been constructed. Um, this is also known as buying of the plans. Or you want to buy a section in a brand new subdivision that has yet not been completed. Therefore, there is no certificate of title. If this is a very common situation right now here in Queenstown, and I would recommend that you will take full legal advice before you commit to such a purchase. Today, we are joined by Graham Todd of Todd & Walker Law. Good morning, Graham. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Could you tell us what are the risks and what steps buyers can take uh, to, pr to, to make sure that they're doing the right thing when, when buying a property without a title? Yeah, well, this is, uh, as you said earlier in your introduction, this is becoming more and more common in Queenstown, where either you're buying a house or unit off the plans uh, being constructed, and often the subdivision of the title will come after the house has been completed or some, some stage during that process. Or alternatively, you're buying an allotment in a new subdivision, and um, we've got a number of those around Queenstown. That's right, we've got quite late. a number, yes. Yeah. And uh, that'll only become more and more frequent because, of course, we don't have a, a large land supply, hence the demand uh, for property, hence the prices keep going up in yes. Queenstown. Um, well, we hope they continue to do so over the, over the future. But uh, there are a number of risks associated with it, as again you mentioned, and you've got to make sure that in buying off the plan or buying a title, buying into a subdivision where title is not yet issued, that you're fully familiar with the rights of the vendor in particular, because often these agreements will be very heavily weighted in, in favour of the vendor. And that is simply to give them the flexibility to enable them to construct the subdivision and to uh, allow for things that may occur down the track as part of the council process. That's but the right. secret is to make sure uh, that you are aware of uh, the limits to the, that the vendor can go to in terms of um, uh, uh, creating easements, creating encumbrances and consent notices against the title because you are going to be bound by those into the future. Particularly consent notices which are basically conditions of a resource consent to the subdivision that have ongoing implications uh, even after you've purchased the property. That's right. So it's important that you do that. The other thing to be aware of also is that between the time of actually buying off the plans a title in a new subdivision and when title finally comes out, the area of the land might change. So there should be conditions within the agreement for sale and purchase uh, which would enable you to be able to be compensated if there was a large reduction in the area or indeed have the right to cancel the contract if the if the area change was so significant that it was going to affect your ability to yes. build on the property. It comes up in a conversation with my buyers on um, the term sunset clause. What does yep. that mean? The sunset clause is simply one where it means that if the title hasn't been issued by such and such a date, either the vendor or the purchaser uh, can withdraw from the agreement for sale and purchase. Now that's very important because of course the process is in the hands of the vendor or the developer yeah. generally and it's how fast they uh, undertake the construction of the subdivision and obtaining of the necessary consents as to when titles will issue. So there is the ability for, for a vendor if they wish to, if the market was uh, moving uh, upwards in a dramatic fashion, for them to slow down the process and then have the ability to back out. Uh, so that's something you really have to do, watch out for. Sounds really quite serious. Yes, yes indeed. Does, does. That's right. So um, when you have, when you sit down to make an offer on a, on a brand new home or brand new um, uh, section that still yet doesn't have certificate of title, I recommend legal advice because it's going to be a thick document, probably full of warranties and conditions and um, sunset clause is going to be in it as well. And a professional like Graham can help you there to be safe. Thank you very much, Graham. Thanks, Riyadh.